Yo, what's up everyone? AJ here, back with another one on video. Going up against, you know, another familiar face, Alpha Kep. And it appears we only are going to get up against Alpha Kep in our YouTube videos now. Oh, a bit high on that flick. Yeah, my last one's video, I'm pretty sure I played Kep. And then the one before, like, I, I didn't record, but off stream before that, I'd be playing Kep as well. So, a lot of my recent ones games have just been against Kep. Which is kind of weird. Kind of sad, because... I want to play other players, but you know. Still all good fun at the end of the day. He's going to 50 him here. He hit the mid. He's going to go back and control it. Go for a flip. Nice. Really good play. He can't really do much. If he's not challenging, he's flat-footed like that in net, then every time I can just get the reset, wait for it to fall, wave dash, and go around him. Either left or right. A fake. Oh, he faked himself. Because I do not think that show worked on him. Oh, and he forfeited. Well, GG. That'll be the end of game number one. Already making my opponents abandon and rage quit, you know? So... That'll be it for game number one. See you guys in the next one. All right, game number two, going up against Bufo. Kind of happy you found a game. It was looking a bit doomed for a minute. Couldn't find a game for like five minutes. I got worried, but... You know, shout out Bufo, coming in clutch for queuing up. All right, that was a good uh, early child, good ceiling child from Bufo. He's going to hit that and get the corner. He's going to go back now. I have lots of time to work with. Unless he pre-jumps me again. That's fine. We're in a favorable position here. Get the mid boost. Let's go for a demo. Nice. Can control it again. Oh, that was not a good first touch. Yeah, he's just gonna dunk me. It's really poor first touch. I could have done a lot better with that. He's gonna double it. Uh, I didn't think he'd score though. I had no respect on him. You know, my bad, Bufo. My bad. I had absolutely zero faith he was gonna score that. Now we know, though. I mess up his wave dash. He ain't at the mid. I have a lot of time. He's gonna go for a corner and go off the ceiling. Just wait. He's faking it. Now he's going. Then we get the double. Just like that. Yeah, you can see a lot of it's mind games. Because probably from his POV, he's thinking, Oh, I just I just ceiling challenged first him and it worked. So I'm gonna fake going off the ceiling and scare him. Which, it didn't scare me. It was a good, a, a good attempt, though. But it didn't work out, because I did see him drive back to the ceiling, and I didn't panic, so I was able to keep possession and score. Yeah, it's just a mind game. That's what a lot of ones is. Oh. Let's pre-jump in that. I've noticed that Bufo kind of plays like he doesn't care at all. His play style is like, he's just doing whatever. Even if it's like trolley. It seems that, um... That's the case in ranked. Like, I think he just uses ranked for either mechanics practice or, I don't even know, limit testing of some sorts. Because he's definitely not giving it his, like, full tryhard. Like, if this is a tournament or something, he'd be playing different. We, well, we both would, obviously, but you know what I mean. He's kind of, like, flopping about. Hit to his corner. I'm just going to let him go for that. I can't really challenge safely. Early challenge though. Nice. I didn't get the corner yet. I should be able to. Just gonna let it bounce. Go for a reset. Nice. It wasn't that powerful, but I got the job done. If he waited towards his net there, he would have probably countered me and scored. I was trying to get like a, a really powerful top right flick right there. I just slightly messed up. Uh, went in. Goal is a goal. That's all that matters. I faked me that. See, that time. He faked me with the ceiling challenge because he went out of my point of view. So I didn't know if he was committing to that ceiling challenge or not. So he got into my blind spot and that's why that worked on me right there. I didn't want to gamble if he's like faking it or challenging. The last thing you want is to be challenged from your blind spot and get dunked really hard. Okay, that flick was really weak. Wow, had a pretty good setup though. It was a pretty, pretty unlucky. Not unlucky. Like, really weak flick. It's definitely not unlucky, but... It's poor for me. 
Nice, really good 50. I was able to get the, the flip with it and then wave dash and score off that. Yeah, a lot of the plays I go for, I'm, I'm thinking about my recovery more so than scoring the goal. And by that I mean if I'm going for a flip reset, I'll, I'll 50 it with my, my belly so I can get that flip. I mean if I'm going for a 50 then I'll 50 it with my belly so I get the flip is what I'm saying. So instead of scoring, it's more of a safe option where I have that flip afterwards. Even if I lose the 50, I will outspeed my opponent by recovering with that flip. And you can see a lot of different things like that. That's just uh, one example though. I may have worded it a tiny bit wrong. Oh, that was a good pinch. But I think I explained it better at the end there. Try to get a good kickoff here. He's going to follow it up. Just going to fake that. Kind of screwed him up. He's still able to get a touch, but not the one he wanted. He's going to go back now. That was bad. If I flicked right there, that was going to go nowhere. I could just tell by the way I jumped and how the ball was on my hood that there'd be no power. And going back to what I said earlier about him like trolling and just doing random stuff, like that challenge right there on my backboard is, is what I'm talking about. He's like going crazy. Alright. Go to my other corner. Oh my god, bro came from the ceiling. And he's actually swinging from the branches of this game. It's going crazy, bro. It's like a jungle gym for him. Or monkey gym, whatever it's called. That was really predictable with the ground double. And I messed my foot. He actually is going to score here. I trolled that hard. Wow. I, I just messed up my flip. So at that point, I shouldn't even went for that mid boost. I just had to hustle back. It's fine though. He'll get that corner. I can't do anything. Let's get the mid and challenge him. He's going to fake that. I'm going to try a beta flick. Yeah, nice. Worked out. Try to control this and pretend I have zero boost and use that thing there. Catch him off guard a little bit. Ooh. Flipped his backboard. Oh, wow, he's going for that. This could be bad. Now, right, what I'm going to do here is not go for a kickoff because sometimes it's better. Not even go for it. I got the save. I can get the corner from him. Let's follow it up now. Just going to fake. Try to make him panic. He's gonna go again. Oh, he side flipped or back flipped. He's gonna 50 him. Not the best 50. I make him land on me though, so I'm able to have a way better recovery. And I'm gonna cut in instantly because he, he likes his ceiling challenges. Hit this high because I can't do much. So I'm hitting it high so I have an easier time to recover. Gives me more time to get back. Nice. Good bump and follow. Oh, I died. I saw that coming. I just dodged it a bit too late. He's going to go for a corner. That's fine, though. Alright. Just going to go back. He might bump me. That was honestly poor defense for me. He could have scored there. Wow. Yeah, it might be a goal. I think he missed. Uh, oh my god. Alright. That was the most interesting game I've played in a minute. God damn. Alright, game number three. And, I, you know, I was hoping to get that rematch with Bufo. Um, just to, you know, end on the dub. in the video with some revenge, but nah. Going up against Kerr. I've never heard of this guy. <laughs> um, oh, he's jumped off the wa wall. I'm not sure what happened right there. Let's see. He just single jumped in. I don't even know. Was he trying to wall dash or who knows? That's pretty weird. This will be the third and final game of the video though. Hope you guys are enjoying so far. He's gonna beat me. Barely got a touch. 
There's like a skim touch as well. That was poor. He's saying you get the boost on spawn. Go up the wall. Uh, I should have maybe flipped. I just had no boost and I was a bit far from the ball, so... I didn't want to just throw it to him and get dunked or something. He's got 50. Nice, good 50 for me. There we go. He was just really close and in an awkward position. He seems to not have the greatest positioning to start off the game at least. Maybe he'll switch it up or something, but... So far it's not been the prettiest. He's gonna go for a corner probably. I'm just gonna go for a beat here. Might be in... Yeah, it is. Yeah, all I really had to do is beat him. Because if you're being challenged in, in your opponent's corner, then that's just the the most dangerous area you can be challenged at. And if you're the me in that, so if you're me there and you're challenging in the corner, that's the safest spot. If, if I fake this, go under him. Sorry, I was trying to concentrate. I couldn't speak there. Oh. Hit the mid boost. I'm not a fake challenge. A fake. I can see that he turned a bit early, so it's pretty predictable he's gonna challenge me. Let's go for that insta flick. Or insta shot, I mean. Let's get the mid. Oh. I still am able to. I just messed up my wall dash, though. Damn. He gets a free goal. It's all good. It's a little freebie for him. I committed way too hard to that mid boost. If I didn't mess up my wave dash though, I would have saved that for sure. I was going for something special. Something quirky, which I shouldn't have. Let's go for a reset. I'm pretty predictable with my shot, and even his save was really predictable. At that point, when I see him single jump like that, there's no reason to even flip. I should have just let him hover there and let the ball fall down or something. We know, we score in style though, we score in style. The turtle goal. The turtle 360. Oh, let me get the corner. Ah, uh, can't get it. Let's get the mid. Go for an early challenge. Oh, that touch was really good. Uh, he read it perfectly, though. So it was actually really bad, because he's able to counter me instantly. That sucks. And I have been up since, like, 6.30 a.m. since I had to... Go to an appointment and recording this at night now. I'm feeling a bit tired. I don't feel that tired with my gameplay fully. Oh, but with the commentary and, and the gameplay combined, that's where I'm starting to, to notice uh, the fatigue. It's really hard to commentate and oh, play full focus. That's fine though. That's a bad play by me. It's really bad. I'm just giving him free goals where he hasn't had to work for it at all. Like, literally zero sweat involved for him. I keep missing boosts. He missed as well. Or synchronized swimmers there. Alright, he's playing different now. He's playing uh, a lot more grounded and seems to be playing more safe with 50s and other plays. Playing really passive. All right, I should I should have just went for that wall. I'm throwing. Give me him free goals, bro. What am I doing? I'm just gonna finish the game out. I'm at full sweat right now. Even with the kickoff, go for a delayed. Nice. Nice. There we go. Yeah, I'm just full sweating, getting this game over with. He scored too many for my liking. Get the mid. 
Go for an early shot. His positioning is really poor. Not even sure what he is covering right there. Let's hit the mid. Oh, he didn't die. That was risky for him, but he still kind of had to go for it. Not fully, because there's still time, technically, but... It's not the dumbest pre-jump in the world for him to go for when he's down three with a minute. Oh, wow. I heard him jump and thought that was him going for the ball. I think he's just jumping off the wall or something, though. Yeah, I was getting air drill bumps. I had to just stall, let him fly past me, and then save it. Which why I hit the post there with it. That was scoreable. Let's get the corner. Good bounce. Should be in. He has zero boost. Nice. And that's game. Surely I don't get kickoff gold four times. And then lose an OT. It has to be game. Alright. Now it officially is. I think we had a bit of a longer video today. Not fully certain. I'd have to check, but I think it's a bit of a longer one. Hope you guys enjoyed these, uh, these games. Now, if you did, y'all know what to do. Leave the thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe. Have a good day or night. Peace out, everyone.